Hey, welcome back to Blender. This is a tutorial on how to add text and make it 3D so that you can print, for example, a nameplate or a positive message. So this is the default startup file and you'll notice that you have your camera, your cube, and your lamp. We are going to begin by deleting the cube. So we're going to press X and delete. Now the cube is gone. Uh, anytime you get confused or lost, you can always go File, New, Reload Startup File. So don't worry about messing anything up. So again, we're going to press X and then Delete. You'll notice right now that this uh, life preserver is in the center of the scene. If I click somewhere else, that preserver will move. And if I want to get it back to the center, I can just press Shift and C and that'll center it back in. I'm going to press control and slide two fingers to zoom back in. Okay, so wherever this life preserver is, that is where your text is going to get added. So I'm going to press shift and A, and this gives me the add menu. I'm going to come down the add menu all the way until I get to text. I'm going to click on text, and now you'll see I've had a text object added to my scene. What I'm going to do next is I'm going to rotate the object uh, so that it's sitting nicely for my current view. So I'm going to press on my key R and then I'm going to press X because I want to rotate it around the X axis. And then I'm going to press 90 because I want to rotate it 90 degrees. Then I'm going to press enter to accept. Now that it's standing up, I'm much happier, but I also want to turn it 90 degrees. So I am going to ro be rotating it 90 degrees around the Z axis. So I'm going to press R, Z, 90. Enter. Ta-da! I've got my text just where I want it. So the next thing I'm going to do is I'm going to move into edit mode. Right now, you can see here that I'm in object mode, um, but in order to change the letters in the text, I need to be in edit mode. So I can move to edit mode by pressing the tab button, tab, woo, edit, tab, back to object. I can also change modes by clicking here and choosing edit. So you'll notice that when I was in object mode, I had this text selected. You can tell it's selected because it's bright orange. If I press the A key, I deselect everything so it's gone. Now I'm, it's not yellow anymore. If I want to select it again, I can right click and now I've selected it by right clicking. So. With the object selected, I'm going to press tab to get into edit mode, and you can see now that I'm in edit mode. Then I'm going to press backspace, and I'm actually making a name tag for Mr. Michael, so I'm going to type Mr. M R, and then I'm going to give in a dot and a space, and then Michael. So. I've typed Mr. Michael, and if I tap, press tab to go into object mode, you'll see, ta-da, Mr. Michael, and doesn't that look nice? The problem is, and I'm just using two fingers to slide my view around a little bit on my trackpad, and now I'm going to press shift and slide two fingers to move it over a bit. So you can see now, two fingers sliding, shift and slide it up, you can see that, um, Mr. Michael's name is really only two-dimensional, and we want to make it a lot thicker. So what I'm going to do, pressing shift to slide this thing over a bit, um, is I'm going to come over here to this area. You can hover a little bit here and you'll get these two arrows, and if I click and slide, I can make this bigger. So this is where, this is a major command zone in Blender, and you're going to really love what you can do over here. You can see here there's a little font tool. This will only show up if you're working with a text object. So if I click on this F, I've now come into the place to modify uh, things to do with the font. So the first thing I can do is I can actually change what font I'm working in. And to do that, I can click on this filing cabinet down here. 
and I can go to my libraries and my fonts and I have all these fonts to choose from. Now uh, I would even a Kamai font. Ooh. Um, I uh, am just going to go ahead and go plain and simple here with Arial Bold, but you do have options and there's lots for you to play around with. So I'm going to double click and that's going to set that font. So now it's Arial Bold. But we can see here that there's lots of space between each letter and I would like my letters to be closer together. So um, I have an option if I scroll down here a little bit. I can see the spacing. So I have my spacing between words, which I can change here. So if I click on this arrow, you can see that the words are getting closer together. I'm going to keep a little bit of space there. Um, but what I really want to do is decrease the spacing between letters. Ooh, see that? Um, really squishing it in. That's maybe a bit too squished. So I'm going to bring it out a little bit. And actually, I think that looks pretty nice, except I want it just in between there. So to get an exact number, I'm going to click here, and then I'm going to press Delete to start over, and I'm going to choose 0.85 and see how that looks. And actually, that is pretty much exactly what I wanted. And the only thing I'd say now is that um, the dot and the M are too close together, so I'm going to increase the spacing between my words. So there we go. Mr. Michael with the letters nice and close together. And uh, I like that. But we still have our problem, which is that Mr. Michael is two-dimensional and we want him to be three-dimensional. So to change that, we are actually going to scroll back up, still working in the font area. And um, you can see here extrude. So if I just bump this up, I'm going to just go ahead and click here because it's going too slowly. I'm going to press 1. <gasps> okay, that's too big, right? I don't. That's just way too big. So I want it, what, like a quarter of that? So I'm going to try pressing 0.25. <gasps> that is actually pretty nice, but even maybe still too big. So I'm going to try 0.2. Mm, what do you think? I think even just a little bit smaller. I'm going to try 0.15. Yeah, I like that. Okay, Mr. Michael. So now if I just print this on a 3D printer, what's going to happen is the letters are going to fall free from each other. And I want this to sit securely all together. So even though I've got my text a nice thickness, the font I want, the closeness together that I want. I'm just going to press control and slide two fingers to zoom in, shift and slide two fingers to slide it over. I'm thinking this is nice, Mr. Michael, but I want to add a little um, shape underneath it to make a block. So I'm going to make sure that I'm in object mode and I'm going to press A to deselect all. Now I'm going to make sure that um, my cursor is still centered. The reason why I want to do make sure it's centered is when I add the object, I don't want it to be just slightly leaning forwards or backwards. I want it to be exactly parallel and perpendicular to all my points in this uh, 3D world. So I'm going to press Shift C just to make sure my cursor is absolutely centered. And I'm going to press Control and slide two fingers and Shift and slide two fingers to kind of get myself back into the frame here. Control slide, shift slide. And then now I'm going to press shift A and I'm going to add this time a mesh. And the mesh that I'm going to add is a cube. So a mesh cube, a mesh cube. Would you look at that? So I can just play with this cube for a second. If I click on this green arrow, I can drag it this way. <gasps> Michael's hiding. He's back. Um, and I can slide it up and down. So what I really need to do is I need to scale this cube right down. So I'm going to use these um, 3D manipulators to scale the cube. So I'm going to click on um, this one with the square end. And what this does, see the square ends here, is it allows me to click on that and slide it down this way. So 
That's about how thick I want the base to be, maybe a little bit less thick. Just like that is what I want. Um, and then if I look, I can see I need it longer. So I'm going to click on the green arrow and I'm going to slide it out. And you'll see it, it expands evenly on both sides. So I want it to really just be right about on the plate. So I'm going to put it about there. And I know I'm going to have to do some moving around in a minute, but I'm just going to press shift and slide two fingers to move this down a bit so I can get a better view. And now I'm going to work on scaling in front to back. So I'm going to press on this red square and scale it in like that. So what I've got here as I'm scaling, I, I've clicked and I'm just sliding my finger on the trackpad until it gets to just the way I want it. There, and I think that's about right. Um, and so I'm just going to uh, slide around my view, press shift, slide over, slide up, slide over. And I'm going to look and I can see that actually, um, if I look here, slide up, control slide to zoom in, uh, shift slide. Okay, so I can see here that it's just... I just need it to be a little bit bigger, so I'm going to just click here and there. So once you uh, get the size about right, uh, you can go ahead and click into this um, free arrow transformation. So if you just click down here, um, now you can start to move it around. So we can see that um, I'm pressing shift and slide. Uh, um, rotate, shift and slide. So you can see obviously the nameplate needs to be moved down. So we're going to click on this blue arrow and we're going to slide it down. And we want to make sure that the letters are actually going a little bit into the plate because if they're not going into the plate, uh, the letters might uh, detach too easily. I'm going to press shift and slide over. Um, I'm going to press um, uh, control and slide backwards um, and now I'm going to see how I can line it up with the L. So now you can see we have Mr. Michael, we have shift and slide, control slide back. You can see that we've got um, Mr. Michael written in a nice thick font. We've got the letters uh, placed into the, the uh, resting plate so that um, when it prints, they'll be nice and attached. And uh, when we print, we're going to go ahead and print this uh, laying on its back. So actually, one thing we can do right now is I'm going to press Shift and right click. And then I'm going to press R, Y, 90. Oops, no, I didn't want to do that. So I'm going to press Escape. I'm going to press R for rotate, Y for the Y axis, minus to go backwards, and then I'm going to say 90, and it did what I wanted it to do. I'm going to press enter. And now you can see, um, control slide to zoom out and rotate around. You can see that our file is just neatly laying down and it is ready. Let's zoom in. Ready to print. So. I need to make sure that both of my objects are selected, my text object and my uh, changed cube. And I am going to click File and Export. To use our printer, you need to export as an STL. So I'm going to click STL. And now I need to notice where I'm actually saving the file so that I can find it later. I can see that right now I'm in Users Chelsea Woods. Um, but I'm going to go ahead and um, click on um, uh, desktop because I just want to throw this on the desktop. So uh, here we go. I'm going to rename the file. I'm going to call it uh, Mr. Michael. I'm not going to put a dot in it because that would confuse uh, my computer. Uh, so it'll be called Mr. Michael dot STL. And then I'm going to click over here where it says export STL, and I'm going to say export STL. 
And now this uh, file is saved as an STL and ready for me to upload for printing.